This is a video for how to go about utilizing the automated modeling feature in Fusion 360. You will notice that on the screen I have three cubes and one rectangular prism and all four of these are separate bodies within our design interface. I have named the three cubes faces. Now we're only going to use one face of the cube for the automated modeling and I've named one of the rectangular prisms obstruction. And what we're going to be telling Fusion in the automated modeling feature is that we want it to touch certain faces and then not design around this rectangular prism in the middle. To utilize automated modeling we'll go to model to automate and we'll go to automated modeling and you will see that you have a new interface over here on the right hand side and you will see faces to connect and we want to say that we want our design to touch certain faces so I'm going to say that I want it to touch this face I'll come right here to the other side I'm just going to touch this face and I'm going to flip around using my view cube and I'm going to say I want you to touch that face. So our new design will actually rest up against those three faces. Now the bodies I want it to avoid, if I go to select, I'm going to say I want you to avoid this body and you notice that's my obstruction. I tried to say this is getting in the way of the design. I don't want you to design anything in this area. And we want the operation to create a new body. You could say I want it to create a new component. You know, just for the sake of the video, let's just say we're going to create ourselves a brand new component from this. Now that we have everything selected, we're going to go to Generate Shapes. And you'll see something start to form down here at the bottom. It's going to automate different models. For the sake of the time of the video, I'm going to pause the video, and when we come back, we will look at all the different alternatives Fusion 360 has created for us. Okay, we are going to see on the screen now, after Fusion has gone in and generated different shapes for us, that we have six different alternatives that we can view out here in our design space and first of all just gave us alternative one and I can actually you know kind of as I drag along here on this area I can kind of increase or decrease the mass as we see here you can kind of see what it would look like use your view cube kind of take a look at what the shape would you know it's kind of like it's kind of snaked around the edge if I want one that you know kind of is a little bit more you know a chassis kind of shape I can take a look at that. I can actually add mass or kind of decrease mass, make it a little bit skinnier if I wish. Notice it went around that area and didn't go into it. But a lot of different, you know, design alternatives have been created by Fusion within this design process and this, you know, this automated modeling. Now, I'm going to say just for the sake of discussion, you know, I want one that kind of looks like this. I like something with some symmetry to it. It looks like this would be a little bit more structurally functional if I was to do a statics analysis of it. And I'm going to say, you know what, this right here is the one that I want, and I'm going to say OK. And when I say OK, Fusion is going to insert this into the design area. I'm going to come in here to the component real quick and let's turn off this construction plane. You know, we can turn off the visibility of these other four bodies and this right here is the automated shape that Fusion gave us. Now one thing I've noticed in the automated modeling feature is it designed these models faster than the generative design process, you know, from another video I have and also even from some statics analysis, it's done these differently. Now what's nice is, you know, we can come into this model just itself and we can kind of start editing it. Uh, we could export this model for 3D printing purposes. We can come up here and, you know, put some simulation forces on it. A lot of different things we can do, but, you know, it designed this piece, you know, within about two and a half minutes. You're kind of at the mercy of the speed of the cloud, but the automated modeling feature does an excellent job to create, you know, parts and components or bodies based upon, you know, a pretty simple you know, format of just saying I wanted to touch certain faces and just fill this area. And it was very quick and a very efficient process. So this automated modeling feature will allow you to design based upon certain constraints very quickly, you know, just within your solid modeling toolbar across here. So pretty cool new feature um, to Fusion 360 that um, will be utilized um, quite a bit and will save a lot of time. So this has been a video for how to go about utilizing the automated modeling feature in Fusion 360.